You could honestly spend the rest of your life watching Tick, Tick, Boom and still find even more Easter eggs. Lin-Manuel Miranda and his team really just put so much love and care into the story of Jonathan Larson's life and into the references to Rent, Broadway, and more. Kristen here, and I'm back for a part two of my deep dive into the Easter eggs and references in Tick, Tick, Boom. For those of you who might have missed it, the first video is linked here and gives you 18 full minutes of Easter eggs. But guess what? We are not done yet because there are even more references. We're going to be talking about even more Easter eggs that you might have missed. Let's dive on into it. First of all, there's incredible parallels in just the overall story of Tick, Tick, Boom and Hamilton, which are both about real people who feel like they're running out of time and are created by people who revolutionize the world of musical theater, both Jonathan Larson and Lin-Manuel Miranda. Why do you write like you're running out of time? Right day and night like you're running out of time. Every day you fight like you're running out of time. On fighting in the meantime. At the beginning of the film, Jonathan calls Michael an angel on earth, which could easily be a reference to Robin de Jesus, who played Angel in Rent. Fellow Moondance diner waiter Freddy is played by Ben Levy Ross, best known for Dear Evan Hansen. The way they navigate the film through John's show is also very interesting because they pay tribute to both the original Boho Days, which was a solo rock monologue that Jonathan performed, and the Tick Tick Boom musical, which featured three actors telling this semi autobiographical story. We even get to see real footage from Jonathan's childhood childhood used in the film, which was also seen in the No Day But Today, the Story of Rent documentary. When the message machine goes off, it's Lin-Manuel Miranda's wife, Vanessa M. Nadal, who voices Deborah, Susan's friend who calls about Susan's dance show. At the party at Jonathan's house, he tells someone he's going to be the future of musical theater. In the No Day But Today, the Story of Rent documentary, we learn that this was something that he would actually tell people. John was very clear that he was going to change the face of American musical theater. And he'd say it to people and it would sound arrogant or ridiculous or goofy. But knowing him, there was a quiet confidence about him where in his mind, it was just truth. I think there was something that he knew. And the character Scott that he says this to in the film is played by Ryan Vasquez of Wicked, Waitress, and Hamilton. And he was even featured in Vivo and In the Heights. During the song Boho Days, we see a lot of cameos at John's party. Anna Luisos was the set designer for In the Heights and her wife Robin Goodman was a producer for Tick Tick Boom off Broadway and was friends with Jonathan Larson in real life. We also see Lauren Marcus, known for Be More Chill, who plays a role based on Victoria Leacock Hoffman and is always seen by behind the camera and everything that Jonathan is doing. And the real life Hoffman met Larson during a college production of Godspell and went on to produce many of his projects, including the first off-Broadway production of Tick, Tick, Boom, and was instrumental in bringing this film to life too. The roll call of roommates that they shout out in Boho Days is also the real names of people who lived with him. The painting that we see in the background is actually a painting that was done by one of Jonathan's friends that was in his real life apartment and they got permission to mount it in this film. And even the bend of the bookshelves was accurate based on footage that they got from Julie Larson that Jonathan had filmed of his apartment. In the song No More, they sing about having a bathtub in your kitchen with water going into your cereal. And this is something that actually really happened and was referenced in the No Day But Today documentary. The key thing was the bathtub in the kitchen. It was great. You know, if you were sitting there eating a bowl of cereal and someone took a shower, you'd have to move over so that the water would go into your cereal. Lin-Manuel Miranda's dad, Luis A. Miranda Jr., makes a cameo at the concierge behind the front desk at Michael's fancy apartment building. Many cast members from Freestyle Love Supreme show up in Tick, Tick, Boom. Anissa Folds is one of the singers for the read-through. Jelly Donut and Shockwave are doormen alongside Lynn's father at the apartment building. Black Thought performed Play Game in the iconic Schubert Alley. Utkush Ambutkar shows up in the focus group. Christopher Jackson is seen walking into the theater and watching Tick Tick Boom on stage. When Jonathan is on the roof, you can see the numbers 52-5600 referencing 525,600 minutes from the song Seasons of Love in Rent. And I happened to find a really old version of me singing Seasons of Love in one of the productions I did of Rent back in the day. So enjoy this little trip down memory lane. 
film features references to Godspell, Hair, and R.E.M. In the No Day But Today documentary, they discuss how Hair really inspired Larson in his desire to change the game when it came to infusing popular music and musical theater together. He also played Jesus in Godspell in college at Adelphi University. We already talked about the reference to R.E.M.'s song, It's the End of the World as We Know It and I Feel Fine, but did you also know that Anthony Rapp's audition song for Rent was R.E.M.'s Losing My Religion? In the Sunday number, not only are there so many iconic Broadway legends, but there are also so many references in the way that they block and choreograph this number inspired by the iconic stage shows that these Broadway legends starred in. Joel Grey can't get anyone's attention to pay his bill, which parallels the song Mr. Cellophane that he sang in the Chicago Revival. Philip Asu and Renee Elise Goldsberry wear similar colors to their characters Eliza and Angelica in Hamilton, and they hold their hands in a way that sort of reflects that movement that they do in that show. Renee Elise Goldsberry was also in the final Broadway cast of Rent as Mimi. We also see Jonathan leading Bernadette Peters using a similar hand gesture to what we see in the PBS special they're watching of Sunday in the Park with George. Phoebe Newworth poses between the walls, giving off Chicago vibes, and the legends of Rent are seen as homeless people on the street giving off Christmas Bells vibes from Rent. Before Play Game, we see a panning of the city streets, which includes the Cat Scratch Club, which is the club that Mimi dances at in Rent. And there's a lot of great references and parodies to musicals and plays in Play Game, including Gypsy and even them filming in Schubert Alley. There's a scene where Susan calls up to Jonathan's apartment from a phone booth outside his apartment building. Back in the day, Jonathan's friends had to call up to him from the phone booth in front of his apartment building and ask him to throw down the key because there was no buzzer. So we see a reference to that there. They also talk about this in the No Day But Today documentary. At some point, John moved down to Greenwich Street. It was like a fifth floor walk up in this very funky building. You had to call him from the phone booth across the street and he threw the keys down. And we also see that brought to life in Rent when Collins asks Mark to throw the key down at the very beginning of the show. Hello. Hey, guess who's back in town? Collins, man, throw down the key. Ooh. Hey! We also see Jonathan screening his calls, which was something often referenced in Rent. Getting into the focus group, it's led by Laura Benanti, who you might know from Gypsy, Into the Woods, The Wedding Singer. The focus group also consists of Danielle Furland, who made her Broadway debut in Sunday in the Park with George and originated the role of Little Red Riding Hood in Into the Woods, Michaela Diamond of Broadway's The Share Show, and Utkarsh Ambakar of Freestyle Love Supreme. Michaela's character is named Peggy, which could be a reference to the third Skylar sister from Hamilton. Angelica. Well, Utkarsh's character says Sunrise in the focus group, which could be a reference to one of their greatest freestyles during a freestyle Love Supreme show. Sunrise is also the name of a song in In the Heights. The actors playing Jonathan's parents in this film are also both Broadway stars. Danny Burstein plays his father and is currently starring in Moulin Rouge, while his mom is played by Judy Kahn, who is best known as the singing voice in Pocahontas, but also starred in Les Mis, Chess, Fun Home, and more. There are so many Broadway actors who appear as performers in the Superbia workshop as well. We already mentioned Anissa Foles, there's also Giselle Jimenez, who was in Avenue Q and Wicked. Kate Rockwell of Broadway's Bring It On and Mean Girls. And Bring It On also features music by Lin-Manuel Miranda. Joel Perez, who was in the national tour of In the Heights and was seen in Fun Home and Sweet Charity. Janet Tikal, who originated the role of Carla in In the Heights. Kanita Miller of Once on This Island and Come From Away. And Eddie Lee of Hamilton. And Jonathan Mark Sherman, who plays Ira Weitzman, who is putting on the workshop through Playwright Horizons, is a playwright and actor as well. When we see the footage from West Side Story, in the song Why, Lin-Manuel Miranda's real-life elementary school music teacher Barbara Ames is seen handing young Michael flowers, and in real life she also cast a young Lin-Manuel Miranda as Bernardo in their sixth grade production of West Side Story. When Stephen Sondheim calls John on the phone, that was actually the real-life Stephen Sondheim's voice. He had given Lin-Manuel Miranda notes on what he should say on the voicemail, and actor Bradley Whitford was unavailable to record, so Stephen recorded it himself. Rest in peace to the legendary Stephen Sondheim, who unfortunately just passed away on November 26th, 2021. He influenced and inspired so many people with his incredible contributions to the world of musical theater, as this film clearly shows. When John was listing names of people who died, he mentioned some names from the support group scene in Rent, like Pam, Gordon, and Allie. These were real people from John's life that passed away from AIDS and a way that he paid tribute to them. Gordon. Allie. Pam. 
Scott Schwartz, who directed the 2001 off-Broadway production of Tick, Tick, Boom, that really inspired Lin-Manuel Miranda, is seen in the audience of this show. We also see Broadway's Frozen star Jelani Aladdin next to Michael as his partner David in the audience as well. And Julie Larson, Jonathan Larson's sister, is also seen watching the show. I just had so much fun doing these two videos, deep diving into Jonathan Larson's life. I grew up a huge theater kid, loving Rent. I did like three productions of it. I remember seeing it on Broadway multiple times. I remember freaking out when they announced the movie, freaking out even more when they recorded the Broadway production and put it in movie theaters and going to see that. And so there have been so many references in these two videos that I just loved, but I think my favorite thing was just learning more about Jonathan Larson's life and how much he connected things from his own personal life into his projects and really bringing that idea of writing what you know to life, to see the influence that he's had on so many people, to see the influence that R.I.P. Stephen Sondheim had on him, on so many people in the musical theater industry is just so inspiring. Doing these videos just really took me back to my musical theater roots and filled that void that I think I've been missing a little bit. So, you know, I'm just so grateful and so glad that you guys have been enjoying these videos as much as I have. I would love to hear your thoughts on the film and maybe other things you might have caught. So make sure to leave a comment down below. Consider subscribing if you like my videos and if you want to talk more TV and movies with me outside of the comment section, check out the exclusive Discord available on my Patreon at patreon.com slash kmaldo. If you like this one, you can check out more of my videos right over here. See ya!